We're going to be taking you with us as we explore the Vanuatu Made Trade Show. Come down to Fayawa Park for today down on the waterfront here to experience the Vanuatu Made Trade Show 2024. Uh, it's an amazing collection of Vanuatu local businesses, creators, artists. Uh, all right, let's go around, let's check it out. All right, let's go. The Vanuatu Made Trade Show is an annual event every September that allows the showcase and sale of Vanuatu made products and also allows local producers to meet each other and share or discuss business ideas. This year is the sixth annual trade show and there are a whole bunch of stalls here, as well as the first ever fashion show to be run entirely by local Vanuatu tailors and seamstresses. The start of any great day involves coffee, and Tana coffee in addition to being entirely Vanuatu grown and produced is actually really really good. Got the great Tana coffee here, let's jump in, grab the coffee. Roasted fresh on Afate Island, about 20 minutes out of Port Vila, it's definitely worth checking it out if you have the opportunity to. In addition to my cappuccino, I picked up some fresh coffee grounds today as I just love the taste of the medium roast that they make. With my coffee in hand, we wandered down the tents looking at what was on offer. Our next stop was at the Lapita booth. Lapita is a manufacturing and catering company based in the capital of Vanuatu, Port Vila, renowned for its specialty in Vanuatu traditional foods. It's also owned by a local Ni Vanuatu family. They had a wide variety of products on display, which was good to see. While we were there, Mackenzie picked up some coconut and nange nut cookies to take home. While a little expensive, it's a great way to contribute to Vanuatu's grassroots farmers and communities. Got the Tusca brand here. They make a great local beer as well as some other beverages as well. Another great brand over here, Yumi Up. Uh, they're a upcycling uh, organization um, producer. So they take things that would normally go into love, rubbish, into landfill, uh, and upcycle them to new products like bags, purses, and jewelry. Some local crafts, hand-woven baskets and other home decor. The absolutely vital industry here, Pillow Blanc. Uh, they make beautiful pillows and other comfortable sitting implements here uh, for the people of Vanuatu. Definitely worth checking them out. Also got some uh, companies here who are showcasing a whole bunch of solar panels. Uh, this stuff is really, really vital across the Pacific for getting energy out to people's villages and communities uh, so they can have light that's not powered by fire at night time, which lets them be more productive, uh, do things like study, uh, cook, do all that good stuff without the harmful effects of cooking fires and other fires for light. The usual Hasplung handicraft here. Uh, they're here every day of the week except Sunday, uh, normally selling Vanuatu made, locally made products uh, to visitors and tourists who might be coming to Port Vila. Uh, organizations here they're all local provincial crafts makers um, definitely worth checking out so you're supporting really really locally supporting the women in the communities uh, producing to earn a little bit of money as we wandered through Mackenzie thought some of the hats weird by the Sanma creative hub aunties were beautiful so I decided she'd like to get one the hats are hand woven from locally grown pandanus fibers and helps empower rural women to preserve cultural weaving practices as well as support their livelihoods and communities. After trying on a few, we found one she loved and in her size, so we got it.
products from uh, you know, places like PKS Welding as well to make stoves that help make it a bit safer uh, to cook with wood, uh, helps funnel out the smoke so people aren't breathing it in as much. There are also a lot of stalls showcasing equipment that can make everyday life easier around the islands or be used for setting up small businesses like this sugar cane juicer or an automatic coconut scraper. Products uh, from local produces, areas and provinces like um, Tana, the Tana uh, Food Company, uh, uh, making food from Tana Island. In addition to local products and businesses, the trade show is also an opportunity for local artists to showcase their talents. The Department of Agriculture got some animals, I got some information. Let's jump in and have a look. Families keeping livestock is still very common in Vanuatu, so the department has a stall showing good practices around keeping animals. There are also great handcrafted wooden products available that are used every day in Vanuatu to put our local food in the villages. And of course, there's always locally grown produce available. As the sun's going down, they're putting on some local string band entertainment to keep everybody uh, enthralled, keep everyone here for the fashion show that's coming up. Just stopped in at number one cafe while we wait for the fashion show to start. We grabbed a quick drink and watched the sun go down, then head back to find ourselves a spot. Found ourselves a spot to wait for the fashion show. This was the first ever Vanuatu made fashion show with all the clothes being locally crafted. It was a great opportunity to showcase the local designers and creators. It was set to be quite a complex, technically advanced show, but it was good to see them trying some pretty high tech things here in Port Vila. few technical difficulties in traditional Vanuatu style, but after all that got sorted out, then the fashion show was on and it was a great experience. Give us a like, leave us a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you're liking the video, it does really help us out. If you want to see more of the fashion show, you'll have to watch my video on it coming out next week.